All right, so this is an HP Omen AN012DX. It has 12 gigs of RAM, a one terabyte hard drive, an i7-7700, and an AMD RX 580 eight gigabyte video card. So very respectable machine. However, no solid state drive, which means that Windows loading time as well as application loading time is gonna be greatly reduced. Now, you might notice that the loading time of Windows right now is really good, and that's because I've actually restarted Windows several times while uh, doing various things to this computer. And when you reset it this many times, uh, it actually improves the loading time of Windows because it doesn't have to do any updates or it doesn't have to um, load a lot of other things in the background. That and I don't actually have that much installed on this computer. However, let's open up Forza 4. So for example, this is a very large uh, video game. Um, I'm a big fan of the Forza series, um, but on a hard drive, even though this is a 7200 RPM, uh, it takes quite a while to load. Um, so what we're going to do is put in an SSD. So this is an Intel 760, which is a pretty new SSD. Um, it's an M.2, which uh, I looked into it, and this laptop actually does have an M.2 port, so I can keep the one terabyte hard drive in there and install this. So you can see this is quite small. Um, this is how they make drives now, apparently. Uh, and it boasts up to a 3000 megabit or something like that. Um, read time, that, that's probably not true. Uh, but we should get a very dramatic increase in performance over this. So as you can see, uh, Forza is now loading. Um, and uh, we'll see what the difference is after we install it. I will also show you how to install it. So, we've got Turn 10 Studios here, etc. Microsoft. And it's still loading. You know, we got about two minutes here into the video. Um, still unable to really do anything in Forza. There's no menu here. Notice how the cursor is just kind of floating around. Okay. None of these buttons are doing anything because it is showing a loading screen here. And it doesn't actually take it. Like the thing is, even with the Windows boot time, I've had it. I've had this thing take more than two minutes before earlier today just to load. Um, the only reason I loaded this fast now is just because of the number of reboots I did. Um, Still loading. Um, oh, by the way, the other thing you're going to need for this is a USB stick. I've chosen a Kingston uh, 32 gig USB stick, but it doesn't matter what you use. I do suggest you use a three uh, USB 3 USB stick because they take uh, a lot less time to copy files over. Um, so what you're going to want to do is um, put Windows on here from an ISO. Uh, there's way too many videos on how to do that already, so I'm, I'm not going to show you how to do that. Um, and as you can see, I've hit continue here, and Forza is uh, still loading. This is the actual... I, want, I just want to see how long it will take until we can actually play Forza. Right? Uh, as in, start driving the car. Now, I've already gone ahead and put Windows on this. Um, just to go through a couple steps, just so this video isn't too boring, what I'm going to do is remove the um, bottom plate off of this laptop, and um, we're going to have to take out the hard drive, uh, because the hard drive is set as default device on this BIOS, and you cannot change that in the BIOS settings as it is, unless you remove the hard drive first. So we're going to have to remove the hard drive, and then put in the SSD. Then we're going to have to install Windows onto that SSD, and then put the hard drive back in and format the hard drive so that there's no longer a second secondary boot device. Um, it's not absolutely uh, critical that you actually format the hard drive at that point, but you know who needs two different installations of Windows, one of which is slower, right? So you're gonna want to get rid of that, format it, and uh, whatever files you had on there. Hopefully, uh, you know you can uh, have a backup of them or whatever. So we got here in. Uh, Winter just so happens. Escape, escape, escape. And there we go. Now we can actually drive the car. 
etc. Now, usually I use a controller for this, but this is just to show you. There's really no lag. Um, the game is running great. And this is a 1080p screen, but I've tested it in 4K as well, and it, and it works quite well. The only problem is these loading times. So, next thing I'm going to do is show you how to get rid of those loading times. So what I've done is put it on uh, upside down on a sweater here just to protect the top a little bit. And I've taken out all the screws from the top. And uh, you have to really pull by this part in order to um, kind of lift it off because there's, there's plastic snaps as well. And this can be a little bit scary your first time, but just kind of, you know, ease it up. And uh, you should hear a kind of clicking sound as the snaps come off. And then the whole top comes off actually relatively easily. So you can see this is the hard drive. Right here clearly is an M.2 slot. So right here is where we're going to put the solid state. Now, um, when I was reading about this, I read that you should first disconnect the hard drive so that it recognizes it. So we're going to have to um, just go ahead and do that. Just um, pull out the little connector here and um, that's about it so the hard drive is now disconnected we can leave it in here and uh, then we'll connect the m.2 we've put in the m.2 there is a little screw we can put in at the bottom here in order to sort of keep it in place because as it is it sort of tilts up a little bit so that just kind of keeps it steady and uh, that should be about it so we'll try uh, booting this up and see if we can load uh, windows installation Right, so when I put it in and just turned it on, it said boot disk not found. Um, it said please install operating system on a boot disk, which is good news because it means it's recognizing the SATA. So right now I'm booting off of a USB and we'll see what happens here. So hopefully what will happen is that it will recognize the um, solid state and allow me to format it and install Windows. This is very good news indeed. It is showing a drive of approximately 500 gigabytes and uh, we'll just install Windows and then we will reconnect the other hard drive and see how that will all work. Right, so we've put in the SSD, we've installed Windows, we've um, reconnected the hard drive and it is recognized. I formatted the hard drive so I have it for files. Now this thing is dual drive. So I've updated Windows, installed all the driver updates, installed Forza Horizon 4, and here we go. We'll see how quickly this uh, loads. So there's the HP Omen logo. Barely even got a chance to see it. No Windows loading screen at all. There's the login screen. That's over. We're in Windows. Now starting Forza. This is like literally no wait time at all for Windows. Uh, now let's see how quickly Forza loads. So this is a, you know, as you know, a pretty big game. Uh, let's see, we're past the initial loading screen. There's the um, kind of safety warning, like don't drive the way that they drive in the game and whatnot. And um, there's the video. Now, the annoying thing about these is that there are videos that play. And a lot of times the game is actually loaded, but you still have to wait through the video. So there's the... Uh, kind of Microsoft Studios and things like that. Uh, now I'll just press enter to go into... Okay, welcome, continue. And there's the actual loading screen for the game in terms of how we get into the game. Okay, it's telling me all the cool stuff I did, which isn't actually that much because I'm not that far into the game and we're past that now and there's the garage you just uh, get out of that okay escape 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 and we're driving all right so we're in the game performing beautifully as you can see and that's it Okay, so a lot of you guys will want to know, well, I want to know, what the actual difference in time is. So initially, the test run was 4 minutes 53 seconds in order to load Windows as well as the game to the point where you can actually drive. Um, which is 
actually better than usual because usually Windows takes a lot longer to load as I said earlier in the, on the video uh, but still not very good almost five minutes uh, now it is one minute 45 seconds um, that is a very big increase especially considering that a lot of that time is waiting for videos to play and things like that so I would consider this a complete success um, I suggest anyone who has a laptop like this um, you know if you know what you're doing why not